Hello Knicks fans, good afternoon. Welcome to my channel, Big Nick Burt with the Big Nick Energy. Got the gear, it is off, it's on the it's on the couch there. <laughs> Can't be rocking it today, not a day like today. Instead I got the, the Big Herc merchandise on. If you haven't seen Big Herc 916 fresh out YouTube channel, I definitely recommend it. This is not a paid advertisement, this is just somebody... Who helped me get through some hard times in my life from being positive and give me that motivation that I was looking for at that time. So I definitely represent that guy. Nine times out of ten, if I'm not wearing the Knicks gear, I usually got something black on. Wig splitters, alright? That being said, thank you for coming to my channel. And thank you to the people who came through the live chat last night. Count on Carl, Sean Senseno, Marvin, LaSegue... And even Big Task a Thand. Thank you very much for coming through the live stream, adding your voice to the to the chat, and giving me some motivation because I was I was like ten minutes in when when you guys joined, and I was about to end it, but your questions, your comments, your questions, your ideas motivated me, and I went for another twenty minutes talking about the Knicks. So thank you so much for adding to my community thank you so much for being there for me and also supporting me because without you there is no me so i really appreciate that i know i'm inconsistent with this stuff but uh, especially the live streams but um keep looking for it you know if you subscribe and whatever you can see when i go live and we can talk about it but uh that was yesterday, this is today, and today I'm wondering why I am a Knicks fan. Just why am I a Knicks fan? And the reason is because I'm from New York, all right? That's it. That's the short and the long of it. But why am I a basketball fan? Because I'm good at it, all right? I don't have a lot of, like, natural talents. I got a few things I'm good at, one of which is basketball. So I'm not, you know... I'm not NBA status, obviously, but I do all right, all right? I do all right at the Y. I do all right at the outdoor courts. I can hold my own. I do all right. So so that's what got me into basketball and just, you know, being around the Knicks, uh, growing up near them because back then there was no New Jersey Nets. It was uh, just the Knicks, so you didn't really have an option. We're not going to root for Boston, obviously. Who else is the next closest team? The Nets, yeah. So definitely weren't going to root for the Nets back then. That was just a no-go as a New Yorker. So the New York Knicks were for me. And uh, what really put me on them was the uh, Latrell Sprewell days, the Allen Houston days. I was alive for, you know, the 94 series, the 99 series. But I was so young, it barely registered to me, you know, the playoffs versus the regular season. I didn't even understand the difference, so... What really got me was those Latrell Sprewell days and Allen Houston days. Really, really, that's what turned me on to it. And my first basketball game at Madison Square Garden, I was a little kid. And, you know, my parents, uh, they work hard, but, you know, we weren't living lavishly. So uh, I didn't have an opportunity to go to the garden, especially because I have a fairly big family. I got three siblings, so and plus me. So yeah, we didn't go out too much like that, but uh, I'm a little privileged, I'm a little blessed that uh, my uncle got tickets through his job to go to a game, and basically what it was is what we all joke about MSG being is it's just businessmen uh, brokering deals and whatnot, using the tickets as, you know, a gift, and that's exactly what it was. So my uncle worked... Uh, doing some software and I guess another software company wanted to get a contract with him and to that end they said hey we got some Knicks tickets and he said you know what I don't like the Knicks or basketball but I got a brother-in-law and I got some nephews that are big Knicks fans who would really enjoy that so he talked turkey the whole game and me and my brother and my pops got to watch the uh the New York Knicks, I believe, I remember the the final score was 99 to 96 against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And I'm honestly, I'm going to pause this so I can find 
the game. Sorry for the pause. Thank you for sticking around. So yeah, 99 to 96, it would have been... It would have been in the 2004-2005 season, January 28th, 2005. And the Knicks did win, 99-96. to And I was there for it. And uh, it was absolutely amazing. And like I said, I was very privileged, very blessed. And the reason I say that is because not only were they free tickets, they were boxes. It was a box seat, all right? So my first experience with Madison Square Garden was up in a private booth it had like three TVs running you know one with the game one with the live game one with the with the broadcast that MSG broadcast and then like one or two playing like random wrestling matches or whatever you wanted to put on they had buffet you know like fried chicken mac and cheese you know all these hot trays right you can pretty much get whatever you wanted delivered there. And in the box, you know, was like a row of like, it was like, I want to say like maybe six rows of seats. So you could have like 20, 30 people in there if you really felt like it. So that was my first experience with uh, MSG. And it honestly, kind of sucked because the boxes are so high up, you can barely see the court. And it's just, you know, you're not really with the fans. It's a whole different thing. But you got to, you know, I got to see it from like a bird's eye view. You know, we went in the, uh, the special elevator, you know, they, they, we were checking in. They're like, Oh, you come over here. Like we were special people. So that was kind of cool. You know, as a young man, 2005, I was pretty young, you know, not even, uh, 2005. Yeah. I was a teenager at that point. So, so that was my first experience, and we and we and we beat on the Cavaliers, and that's been you know one of those things as a Knicks fan that you can always look forward to beating on the Cavaliers, beating on who else? The Nets. Who else has been perpetually worse than us? I don't know. There's a few, but that was my first experience. So I'm a Knicks fan because I'm a New Yorker. I'm a basketball fan because I'm good at it, and I really fell in love with MSG because I had that you know box suite experience. And then my next game. I don't think I don't think I went to a game in oh, for like 10 years or so. No, I I think that's not true. I think I went to a few when I was young still. But I just can't remember. They all blur together. I've been there so often. But love me some MSG. Nothing better than like section like 223. Yeah, section 223 is uh where is that? 223 Two 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 is all right. One time I was down in like one fourteen, like the the corner, and that was pretty lit. But but that's pretty much it. So when I ask myself, why do I endure this? Why don't I just ignore it? Why do I keep rooting for these guys? Why do I buy the merchandise? Why do I go to the garden? Why do I even want to talk about this anymore? You know, they're not giving us a lot to talk about. Like they're really not doing us any favors right now. They're really making it difficult to uh, to be a fan. So I woke up this morning asking myself why, and the big part of it is just because, because <laughs> it's who I am, it's where I'm from, and that goes a long way, I know, for a lot of people. So all you international fans, I know we got a lot, all you international fans, all you fans from across the country, out of state, everywhere, let me know what you're thinking. Why are you a Knicks fan? Why do they do it for you while other teams don't? Because, you know, the big, uh, the hot ticket item right now is toxic Knicks fans. But I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. Without the toxic fans, you'd have nobody. You'd have nobody. Who else could endure this like we do? All right? Who else could endure this like we do? Who keeps showing up? The rabid fans. That's who. The only people who are left are the people who are absolutely insane for this team. And why am I like this? (laughs) <laughs> I want to know. I really do. Because if I was born in Stockton, I'd be a Kings fan. If I was born in LA, I'd be a Clippers fan. If I was born in, in Miami, I'd be a Heat fan. But instead, I was born in New York, so I'm a Knicks fan. Why are we like this? Tribalism, I guess. I don't know. I like the colors, though, too. The orange looks good. The blue is nice. Thank God I'm not a baseball fan, though. Because I would like the Mets. <laughs> Thank God I'm not a baseball fan. Can't stand it. It's too boring, too slow. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. So, yeah. They got a scratch in our head, all right? 
they got us scratching our head over here, wondering, mm, mm, wondering what is the next move because Thibodeau has been in question. And I just want to know, why do we even care? Why do we even care? Because we want our team to do good. And why is it our team? Because of where we're from. And if you're not from here, I don't know why you're a Knicks fan. I don't know why I'm a Knicks fan and I'm from here. So I want to know, really. I really want to do. I'm not trying to say this as a pessimistic type of thing. I'm not trying to say this like you shouldn't be a Knicks fan. I'm really curious. Like, what got you started as a Knicks fan? Why do you keep supporting this team? Because for me, there's no other way to live. There's no other way to live. I got nothing. I don't watch any other sports. I hardly watch any other basketball games. I like the New York Knicks. I fell in love with MSG. I fell in love with the city pretty early on. Walking the streets of Chinatown. Picking up, you know, picking up the bootleg stuff. <laughs> eating the uh, eating the uh, the roasted nuts off the street. Eating the halal food. Like, New York is a special place. New York is a special place. And when you get us all together in a big arena to cheer and get excited for our team, that's what makes the Knicks. And that's why I fell in love with this team. It's because of the fans. It's because of the experience. You know, not all the remodeling of the garden. Not, you know, the Chase Bridge. Not the star players. That's not what got me into this team. What got me into this team is the fans, the community, the camaraderie, the intelligent way we look at the game and we want it to be executed. That's almost universal at this point. To be a Knicks fan is to be a basketball fan, to be a fan of efficiency, to be a fan of the game, just in general. That's how we are. That's who we are. That's how we like to live. So when we go out to the park, the Y... It's special. It's different when you got a bunch of Knicks fans, when you got a bunch of New Yorkers in it. So that's what got me going this morning, thinking about why, why, why does that Joel Osteen, why? That's not Joel Osteen. I don't know who that was. (laughs) Why? Why? I really want to know, why am I a Knicks fan if it's not for New York? If I was born anywhere else. Maybe I'd still be a Knicks fan. Hey, life is funny like that. Life is funny like that. Mm. All right. I'm dealing with some existential stuff. Clearly, I'm dealing with some existential stuff. But to stop myself from rambling, to stop myself from just talking and talking, I know you guys are bored of it. Sorry, y'all. But uh, let me know. Let me know why you're a Knicks fan, why you're rooting for this team despite all the issues, despite the ownership, despite everything that we had going against us. Let me know, because we still show up. We fill out that arena. Everywhere I go, I meet other Knicks fans who like my, my, my gear, who are wearing gear themselves, talking about their favorite rookies, talking about their favorite vets. And that's just everyday, everyday Knicks stuff. So if you ain't got that in your life, stop by. I'm here to talk about it, all right? Let me know what's good. Why are you a fan? Why are we doing this to ourselves? And let's uh, let's keep the future talk to a minimum, all right? We'll talk about Thibodeau uh, a couple days from now, all right? Let me have a little break. Thank you all. Thank you for stopping by, Big Nick Bird. Thank you.